Jack Spade, P.I., in episode two of Curiosity Kilt the Cat. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true, but the names have not been changed to protect the innocent because, quite frankly, we don't care about their safety and well-being. I have no idea what Brigadoon is, but I knew where to start. When people need information, they go to Two-Armed Jimmy. You might be sitting there asking yourselves, why do they call him Two-Armed Jimmy? Now, why do they call him Two-Armed Jimmy? But why do they call him Two-Armed Jimmy? Right, okay, you're ready, okay, good enough to go. Okay, why, why do they, they call, call him Two-Armed two Jimmy? Well, why do I call him Two-Armed Jimmy? Goodbye. I thought so. Because he's got two arms, what do you think? So here I am. Hey, Spade, I haven't seen you in a long time. Come to think of it, I've never seen you. <laughs> hey, man, Jimmy, I thought you were blind. How'd you know it was me? Man, I can smell that cheap Kmart cologne of yours a block away. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy, I can use some info on something called Brigadoon. You know anything? I don't know, Spade. My memory's starting to go. This jug, Andy? Oh, yeah. Bringy Doom. I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know you can find out more at the Upper Darby Performing Arts Center, March 14th, 15th, and 16th. Friday and Saturday shows are 8 o'clock, and Sundays is at 2. General admission is $5. Children are $3 off. Reserve seats are $6, so be there or be square. But I can't tell you no more. Who can? I don't know, it's getting kind of foggy. Let's clear anything up. Ah, uh, yes. Vito McGuffey. McGuffey? You mean that slime ball's back in business? Where's he operate? I don't know, it's starting to slip away. It's about me 20? Yeah, sure. How about now? Ah, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. He's down at his new club, the Swaggerin' Scotsman. Thanks, Jimmy. All right, baby. Why don't you bring your beautiful self down here more often? Like last night, I was saying to Groovy, why don't we all get together and... Vito McGuffey is the lowest of all the low lives I've ever been unlucky enough to run across. I sent him to the big house a few years ago, and I haven't seen him since. Now that he's out, he's not going to be too happy to see me. From here on in, I'm like a midget at a urinal. I'm going to have to stay on my toes. I arrive at the Swagger and Scotsman just after closing. Vito's sitting at a table near the back with a couple of kilted thugs. skirmishing for hours in the glen. I left her still sleeping, right? So, then I hear my company's bugle, because I was a soldier during the war, my dear. So, she's asleep, and I just figured, you know what? I'll just up and leave. And I left her still sleeping, after getting my comeuppance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you impressed, sir? Aye, I'm very impressed. And I got another four meters at home you can wrap around your neck. Look, McGuffey, I don't like this any more than you do, but I need some information. And you better start singing about something called Brigadoon, or I'll be on you like a stamp to a letter. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Speed! You got some nerve showing your face around here, threatening me, and then asking for help after what you did to me. You broke up my haggis ring and then put me in the dock! Your haggis has turned more stomachs than the liver, heart, and lungs of a sheep, mixed with animal fat and oatmeal, seasoned with onion, Cayenne pepper stuffed in the sheep's stomach and boiled, often accompanied with scotch whiskey, served on Burns Night, which is January 25th, and at the Scottish New Year's Eve celebration, Hogmanay. That is haggis! Really? Ah, what's wrong with you people? That's the last straw, Spade. Get him, lads! Will Spade get his information on Brigadoon from Vito? Will he get the stuffing kicked out of him by McGuffey's thugs? Will he ever change his clothes? Find out the answers to these questions and more when we return tomorrow to Jack Spade P.I. in Curiosity Kilt the Cat. Same Spade time, same Spade channel.